بس حابين نذكر الكل انه اليوم هذا اكشلي عندنا مجموعه من البرايزز ذات الاوورد مجموعه موجودين معنا فبنشجع كل الموجودين يكونوا معنا موجودين ان اور نكست سيشن فيرست اوف اول ليتس ويلكم ديستريكت كورنر اسامه برغوتي تفضل Good morning. Was it a, a very noisy evening last night? Was it uh, any complaints? I would like to hear about them, if any. Thank you very much, all of you, for uh, being with us this morning. And uh, may I just remind you that during the sessions, if you tell your Uh, fellow Rotarians from your clubs that we are going to distribute the uh, district awards during these sessions. So there will be no photos except during this session. So please let them all come to the sessions and receive the awards here. Otherwise they will be receiving them uh, from the Secretariat office. So is this uh, uh, agreed upon? so that we cannot have uh, awards at a later session. During the sessions, or towards the end, we will distribute one time only. Now, we have a session, an introductory session, and uh, our first speaker is uh, Rota International President, Representative, past Rotary International President Carlo Rabiza and uh, good morning sir allow me to just give you a brief resume on Mr. President he's Italian civil engineer and former owner of an architect planning firm Carlo was 1999-2000 President of Rotary International Actively involved in Rotary's effort to immunize all the world's children against polio by the year 2000, he led the mission to Pakistan to monitor a massive immunization drive and to northern Kenya, most remote areas, to chronicle nomadic populations being immunized against polio. Getting a chance to see firsthand the effect of poverty and the need for help and assistance worldwide have humbled me, he said. Yet, I am an engineer, and I look for solutions. Part of my Rotary experience has been finding solutions to problems that affect people the world over. Carlo has held numerous international positions, including Rotary's Vice President, Director, Trustee of the Foundation, With each position, he has contributed leadership skills. <coughs> Carlo Rabiza has been a member of the board of the Italian Engineers Association, member of the Swiss Engineers and Architects Association, and has been twice honored by Germany for his outstanding work in planning public facilities and industrial plants. Mr. Rabiza has also been recognized by the Rotten Foundation for his support of international humanitarian and educational programs and has represented Rotary at many global meetings of other organizations and United Nations related agencies. As a non-governmental organization, we must increasingly work with public institutions in the next millennium to contribute private sector solutions to global problems, he says. Kadora Visa was born in Milan is a graduate of Milan University where he studied civil engineering. He is married and lives with his wife Rosanna in Milan, Italy. Mr. President, floor is yours. Good morning, dear friends. I think you survived the first day all the rumors of the last night so good morning I mean I tell you frankly it was a surprise 
I was not aware that I had to speak to this morning. So, I had a chat of a few minutes with the governor, and you know, I have to see that they are increasing my salary, so I said I cannot refuse to give a second speech. Now, what's about? I mean, you, the few ones who are here this morning, are really interested in what's going on in our Rotary International. I mean, I heard I have another chance to speak to you specifically about the Rotary Foundation. Because with the Rotary Foundation, I was the chairman in 2004-2005 of the Rotary Foundation, and I have a specially, I had a specially uh, responsibility for the future of our organization and the foundation, because I was the one who stopped the work of the foundation and created the future vision plan in 2004-2005. And uh, we will have another chance to go in details about the reason and about the future of the foundation. But I think this morning, especially because you are sitting here and I thank you, you are the one who are interested in what's going on in Rotary. At the moment, a lot of things are going on. I said yesterday, we are in a changing, quick changing world environment and so all associations, every one of us is in some way involved in the changes. Not only, as I said yesterday, the technological changes, but there are cultural changes, there are relation changes, and I thank again your governor that he chose the theme and also what he has done, the wonderful things and programs he has done during this year is the new generation. That's the, one of the programs. I mean, I said yesterday, I still feel young, and I was surprised and happy this morning because somebody said, Carlo, I am so glad you are 81 years old. I said, huh? six years younger than I really be. So, now it's official. I'm 87. So, so, let's speak about what's going on in the changes also in Ellis. I mean, you heard many rumors. The basic change is that after 10 years, we change our general secretary. I was the responsible of the choice of a general secretary in uh, 10 years, 11 years ago. Because Ed Futter, an excellent man, an excellent Rotarian, was chosen for a completely different reason. He was chosen to be in charge of studying a strategic plan. This was the reason he was hired. And after nine months, we had some problems with the current, at the time, General Secretary hired, to the point that we have to end the contract with Hyatt. And uh, it was my board who promoted Ed Futter from manager responsible for a strategic plan to the new general secretary. So this was also the start of the activity of my year as president and due to the uh, board decision. Now we have a new general secretary and what is basically important, the new general secretary has a completely different job description. He has much more power than before. Practically, and there will be the approval, the official approval at the next council on legislation. As I said yesterday, I think we will have a lot of changes and I think it will be one of the most important council on legislation next springtime in Chicago because the board will bring a lot of absolutely new decisions concerning down to the club level and up to the level of the president. Because practically, the General Secretary of today has the responsibility 
not as a secretary, general secretary, but practically it's the CEO, the chief executive officer of the organization. Because until now, the president of Rotten International, his definition is chief executive officer, CEO of Rotten International. So this is one basic difference. And the whole structure is different, especially the relationship between the Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation, because as you know, the Rotary Foundation is a separate corporate of Rotary International. It's an independent unity according to the law of the state of Illinois. The only corporate member of the Rotary Foundation is Rotary International. And the CEO of the corporate is the president of Rotary International in charge. So at the moment, Rotary Foundation is hiring employees from Rotary International and hiring office space from Rotary International. So you see, there is a strange relation to the two entities and this creates problem and this is one problem of the future will be changed. What's going on? And you heard about the famous branding program. program. The new general secretary started and uh, I was on a meeting recently in, uh, during the meeting in uh, San Diego and also a meeting now, we had a very special meeting in Bangkok. I was asked as past president to sit in in a board meeting of the Rotary Foundation together with Rotary International. And the main topic was this branding activity. What does it mean, branding activity? It's to find a new brand for Rotary International. Because today we are speaking Rotary International and on one side Rotary Foundation. It appears the direction of the new general secretary to unify the two entities under a new corporation and to have a new brand, only the logo of the Rotary Wheel and not having a separate Rotary Foundation. So it's a very complicated issue. Big tax issues are involved because the Rotary Foundation under the law of the state of Illinois is completely tax free. That's not the case of Rotary International. So this is a big issue. It's uh, with many contradictions. I'm not agreeing with this planning program. I said it very clearly. And I spoke in the meeting at the president of the current board and the board of the Rotary Foundation, I spoke very strong against for many good reasons, I think. So this is one of the issues coming up. But there are many other issues coming up because the main ones, you know, personally program, the program of the Rotary Foundation. We are reducing drastically the small programs and there is an issue partnering with big other companies to make big programs programs together who can be more easily financially controlled. Because this was one of the basic problems. I mean, $1,000 grant could not be controlled out from Evanston. I mean, this was one of the basic things I discovered when I became chairman of the Rotary Foundation. I was lucky, I must say also, because I was a trustee by co-option two years trustee before becoming a, an international president. This is very rare because one trustee passed away and I was, I don't know for what reason, uh, chosen to take his place. And so I had to do two years as trustee before becoming president. And this was a real lucky event to learn about the foundation before becoming president. Because I'm sorry, I have to tell you that many presidents have no idea about the organization of the foundation 
when they are becoming presidents. So I knew the problems becoming president and was this was a great fundamental help during my year as presidency and for the projects of the future. So you see, not going into too many details because many details are still not official, but you see at the moment many things are going on in the headquarters. Also, one basic thing is to reduce the staff. Because I made a strong report and speech at the Institute in Hanover in Germany, where all the European representatives were there, and the gates with the motto, an old motto, keep Rotary simple, fight bureaucracy. We are becoming too bureaucratic. So uh, I give you only one figure. 86, I was vice president of Rotary International. And we accomplished in 86 to have the first one million Rotary member. It was a Frenchman. And the board took the decision, 86, to reach in 2005 our centennial the goal of 2 million members. Now, you know exactly where we stand. 1,231,000 as today. So, in other words, we increased membership from 86 of our centennial year by 23%. And now, imagine what was I discovered and apparently nobody was aware that we increased the number of the staff by 80% in the same period. 23% increasing members, 80% increasing staff. You know, today we have roughly 730 employees. So this was a shock. So now, one of the main things is trying to reduce and streamlining our bureaucracy and to reduce costs. So this is only to give you a feeling how a hard work is going on to create really and prepare, enthusiastically prepare, I say, the future to a rotary more effective according to the changing time to the big worldwide events. I said yesterday how the composition, the ethnical composition is different. When I was the Vice President, 85-86, the board was practically American. There was a clear direction, American direction. You could agree or not agree, but there was a direction. <coughs> Today, to the fact that one third is American, one third in a later broader sense is European, and one third, the increasing one in membership, is Asia, brings a different composition. Brings a different composition in the board members. And the main thing is that not everyone is very able to speak English. I experienced myself, I mean, I was lucky because uh, my parents, I was born bilingual, and so it was very easy to learn our languages. But the first time I was sitting in the board in four, I mean, it's not sufficient that you are able to speak English. You need to learn American legal terms because all the decisions, the board decisions, are made and approved with the terminology of the American legal terms used in the American Senate. So that's a big difference because you have words who are in no sense in England, in Great Britain, in English. They are typical of a sense, of a legal sense of the American procedure. So it's something very important. Now today, we have boards where practically more than 50% of the board members are not fluent in English. 
and the new thing is since years when you are sitting in the board meetings you have the computer screen before you and there is a secretary who is changing every moment the, the, the wording of the decisions can you imagine that in the last not the last one but two years ago in the board behind there were sitting eight ladies for simultaneous translation for single members. So, you know, this is something we have to change. We must make basic changes. We must work more effectively. Because I still believe, I said this yesterday, I see a great future of Rotary International with more members, more effective members, more representative members in their communities, up to the state level. Because we have a capability, we have a credibility. This is an important point. You know, I am uh, the president who created also the word in continuity. And if you see the last board decision, there is a recommendation for a future president about using continuity. My wording was actually continuity, credibility, uh, with, uh, with consistency, credibility, and continuity, the three C's. So, this was to give you, and I hope that giving you the sense of what is going on. Because here we had also an example, and I thank you, Governor, sincerely, my dear friend. Because generally, at this conference, the representative receives such a high amount of papers. He has to speak about, and also the governor, to speak about the theme of the current president. But you see, every district conference has their own <coughs> theme, the theme of the territory, the theme interesting, the clubs. Because what happened today? The clubs are drifting away from everything. They have their autonomy, they have to, the right to do the things needed on their territory. So you see, I did mention the big paperwork that my dear friend, the current president of Thailand, Colonel Thailand, sent me, all the speeches of the future of Panaka. Because you are interested in what's going on concerning your clubs. Because the important thing in all the other clubs and you members of the clubs helping your communities. That's the sense of what we have to do. And this, the board are realized now. We have to, be, to become more club friendly again. Because today we have too many committees. We have too many people out in the field doing, being an obstacle to the activity of the government. Because there is one thing that many of these district committee have a three-year term and the poor governor has a one-year term and the, the many committees with a three-year term are becoming more powerful and interfering with the governor. What I am pledging sincere that the governor must be more powerful in his district. The most important thing is to give the government the judgment if a club is not working to have the authority close the club. Today it's not possible because you have to appeal to the Secretariat in Everson and they are never, only in very worst cases, they are never closing the club because they are interested in receiving the fee of the membership and not seeing the input that the bad club has on the territory it is represented. So, Mr. Governor, I don't know how much I uh, have spoken I think enough. It's included in my ten salary, not more than 10 minutes. But, uh, I mean, I'm ready also. Can I ask if there are some questions on the floor? That's only two questions from the floor. Is there a question coming up? I see none. I check. Okay. Can you? It's your choice, because I can, cannot see the before the lighting. Uh, I see no good one.
Please, uh, it must be a question, not a, a, a whole speech. No, no. It only is, a question. It is two, two, two brief questions, actually. No, and, only one. And, and uh, technical questions. You mentioned that the international are tax uh, are taxed, but the uh, the foundation is tax exempt. Why? The the Rotary Foundation, due to a law of a state of Illinois, is completely tax exempt. They are they are not paying any tax in the state of Illinois. But why? Thank you, Barbara. No, I'm saying why the... the all these, all the corporates no, in the no, state, no. all the... I'm co I, sorry, I'm saying why the international is taxed. It should be also uh, tax exempt, no? No, this is internationally not possible. Okay. On the other hand, that's a completely different issue. I mean, it's tax exempt that you also to the status of an employee, every type of taxes that other corporates are paying in the state of Illinois, the foundation is exempted doing humanitarian work. The relation outside the states, in the different states, we try, it's not possible, this is dependent about the rules of the different states. When you see the rotary wheel, we know what's about the rotary wheel. But that's the basic question. The general public generally don't know what's behind. And that's the issue to try. And we had in this session, as I said, with the board of directors and the trustee, they brought the first, first paperwork of this new branding approach. And the first thing is how to make the clear definition how to sell Rotary with one sentence. And that's not an easy question in a changing time. And I must say, some others are doing better. Three weeks ago, on the Italian newspaper, our uh, friends, the Lions, started the campaign with a very short logo, and I think very impressive, saying, Young, address to the young people. Young people join the Lions to have a better world. This is a very effective. Don't you think so? I mean, young people come to the Lions, be with the Lions to have a better world. This is what we need also. I mean, our, our problem is to attract people, to attract the young generation. Are you aware that in the United States in the last eight years they lost 12% of the total membership? 49,000 members. Not many of you are aware. So you see, I mean, they started in the States 
it was under President Wilkinson, to have eight special membership reunion in the different districts in the states. The result was the same. At the end of the year, the heaven number lost of 2%. So, I think I gave you an idea that it is not easy to run our association. Especially for one part, and this is the reason of the different job description, description to the general secretary. Because you cannot run an organization with 1.2 million members all distributed all over our globe, having board meetings only four times a year. Board meeting where one meeting is immediately connected with the convention, it's a one and a half day meeting. How can you run an organization in this way? We must make basic changes. I said before, I mean, it was a different world when I was vice president in 1986. As I said yesterday, the fax machine was something new. So, you see, we have to adjourn our rule system. I believe in the future of Rotary International. I suffer if I see certain things. I suffer because I see them coming. I saw them coming in my decision about continuity, about the future mission program. I have taken always in my life a tough decision. I can tell you, I was sitting as a president in Evanston for one year. I was in my office every morning, half past six o'clock. And every employee who came in my office with a question went out of my door with a yes or a no. One of my presidents and many were saying, put the paper on my time and I'll be studying. Every I was supported by the staff in Everton. Because by you, they entered the door of the presidency and they went out with a yes or no. That's how I ended my thing. So I thank you. I hope I have given you a feeling because it needs an hour of discussion to give you all the details. But to give you a feeling that we need changes, that we are on the good track, we are able to take strong decisions, and we will have changes for the better of our organization to be more helpful to the people that need our support. Your community needs the work of our organization. Because you see, a president, the only thing he can decide the sense of his travel around the world. Many presidents, and with high respect, were traveling to go to see nice places, museums, and speeches. Lausanne and myself decided immediately one thing, to see the poorest places in the world. Orphanage, hospitals, home for the elders. We were in two concentration camps for hours. I don't see a save the nation. I see, saw for one year the poorest places in the world, from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Myanmar, Bangladesh. I had my first peace conference in 85 in Bangladesh, in Harare, in Zimbabwe, in Africa, everywhere. I can tell you, I surely be for the person who saw the most poverty cases around the world. And that's the sense of a president to bring help everywhere in the world. Thank you so much. Good morning. We promised you a lot of surprises. Here comes the first two. We have a lot of gifts to be distributed. Some of them will be distributed according to a number which we will call now. Some of them will be asked a question over lunch. And if you don't answer, you'll get a gift. Today, in the morning, for you early birds, we have two gifts from CA, Julie. They have stand upstairs. They gave us a lot of gifts. Each gift is worth at least 150 JDs, which you can deposit for a diamond or a ring, or you can do whatever you want. Now, may I ask our first lady, Lena, to call a number, a registration number, 
And let's see who wins the first prize. Lena is here. We have also translated.